What's up guys, Gigi Racing here in today's video I'm going to look on how to become faster across the track. I think that what I have here is a collection of great tips that you can use from rookie to advanced, everything in one place. These tips scale very well, they are easy to implement but hard to master and without any more words, let's just go into the video. first thing that we can do in order to gain time is to actually use all the available track so as you can see here the car from the left is using all the available track and in the turning phase it has a complete advantage over the car to the right because the approach is much better and so the exit will be better as well. The second tip is also related with the racing line and one of the things that make you gain time is to actually clip every apex and use all the available tracks so as you can see in this case we keep missing those apexes and the easy fix for this is to actually clip them so you want to go for each and every apex and actually touch it with your wheels this will help you develop speed and also you will learn the track faster in this way Now, let's take a moment and see what's different between the first two clips that I'm gonna play here. The difference is of course the racing line. Again, another thing that will make you gain time across the track is perfecting the racing line. And sometimes it means cutting the curb as much as you can without invalidating. It doesn't seem much, but in this sequence I gain almost a second just by doing this. Another good use of the curbs is to help us rotate the car around the corner. So in this case, as you can see, the curb is not completely flat, so we can use it in order to get our car to the corner. So as you can see here, we go for the throttle. We are very aggressive on the throttle, but also we keep hitting the curb and that makes the car turn. Oh man, this is a big one, trail braking. You will use this technique in almost every turn that you take. It basically means that while turning you want to have some brake pressure applied. So why do we want to brake in this fashion? The answer is a simple one. When we brake, we transfer the weight from the back wheels to the front wheels. This means that for a fraction of a second, the wheels from the front will have a bit more grip than the wheels from the back. And this means that we can improve our corner taking ability of our car. We can take corner easily and we can be more precise, but we have to keep in mind that while taking the corner, we still have to have a bit of brake pressure applied in order for the front wheels to have a bit more grip. The next tip is regarding the brake bias of your car. This is a thing that you can change with the settings of your wheel in, inside the car, so you just have to assign the controls to your wheels or the pad or whatever controls you use and then you can change it during the race. This is an important thing because it will help you maximize the way that you brake. So, for example, you can take some of the turns better because you will have the appropriate brake bias for each turn. But this thing is a bit trickier to do inside the car because you have to be focused on other things as well, driving and chasing other cars and defending, attacking, so on. So I recommend doing this only after you're very familiar with the track and with uh, the tips that I showed you previously, but this will increase and maximize the time that you can gain around the track and is of course a very good thing to do, but is a bit harder than the other tips.
Loading your fuel will make your car faster and take turns even faster than with a full load of fuel. But there are some changes that you must do to the setup. You must remember the ride height that you had before changing the fuel load. So if you lower the fuel, you will notice that the ride height will change. So what you want to do after you lower your fuel level is to change the spring on each wheel in order to have the same ride height that you had before. And this is an easy way to adapt a setup from race to a qualifying and it works very well. That's it from my side, thanks for sticking around. If you have any more tips that you can share, you can use the comment section below. If you like the video, please feel free to subscribe. You can find us on Instagram as well, Get Good Racing. And until next time, I'm out. Bye.